these are in linear kinematics um, these are the five quantities that we're going to care about uh, and IB uses S for displacement I'm not exactly sure why but it's pretty common uh, U is for initial velocity V is for final velocity um, A is our acceleration here's time and these are the units of them right so this is a big clue when you look at a problem if it's given to you in meters it's well it's got to be a displacement right okay if it's meters per second it's got to be one of these velocities the only thing in meters per second squared will be the acceleration and we will have only one acceleration um, and then time if it's in seconds it's time okay so that's a big clue now there are four kinematic formulas that we're gonna we have to have right this one the uh, we've already looked at with acceleration you need to memorize it it's not in the data packet okay this one is in the data packet that one is in the data packet and this one is in there right now let me just give you a clue about this notice that this one has v u a and t okay so it's useful when you don't have s if, if s is not involved you can use this formula this one is no s <laughs> okay right look at this one here this one has all of these have four kinematic quantities of the five right so obviously if you have everything all if you have three of the four you can solve for the fourth okay notice this one has s u v and t so this one has no a this one has v u a and s so this one has no t right so if you don't have the time you can use this one to find any of the other ones right and then this one has s u t and a right so it has no final velocity right you will notice that there really should be five of these guys right so so um, the, there's one missing right there's the, the one that has no initial velocity right we can always work around that if we ever need to use that formula we can always use like this formula and then this formula or something like that okay let me show you an example of how to solve these problems okay so here is a, a, a problem it's uh, it goes from the speed to the speed in that much distance what's the acceleration what time does it take right so the first thing to do is uh, and here are our formulas right just bring those in there the first thing I think to do is to write this write down what you know okay so I just we call these suvat problems because that's what it spells right s I, uh, s is 300 meters right uh, initial velocity must be 14 right okay the final velocity must be 26 uh, and then we don't have acceleration we don't have time right so the rule is if you know three of the five you can figure out the other two okay now let's see we want to find uh, acceleration so we need to to find acceleration we need to use the one that doesn't have t so which one doesn't have t this guy here right that guy has no t so let's use that guy to find acceleration okay so v squared is u squared plus 2as okay so the final velocity is uh, 26 squared is equal to 14 squared plus 2 times a times 300 right so now we can we can do math here right so 26 squared minus 14 squared so that's the first thing I'm going to do is that right and I get uh, 480 is 2 times a times 300 Right, and now I'm going to divide 480 by 2 and divide by 300, right? So divided by 2, divided by 300, and I get that A is 0.8 meters per second squared. And we do have two sig figs, so we'd have to write it that way, right? And then it says, what time does it take? 0.8 meters per second squared, right? And then we can figure out what time it takes, right? Well, let's see. To figure out time, we actually could use any of these formulas to find time, okay? Uh, it would be the best if we could use the one that uh, has no a right which one has no a this one has no a right and the reason is that my a might be wrong but I know it's right okay so I'm going to choose this guy to find my time okay so uh, s is u plus v over 2 the whole thing right times t so 300 is 
14 plus 26 over 2 times t. Well, that's just the average of 14 and 26. We know that's 20, right? Okay, and then 300 divided by 20 is 15, right? So t is 15 seconds. All right, so let's do, let's do another example here, and then I think you'll be ready to lead the way. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is, it's already going that speed. That must be our initial velocity. No question about that. It's got to be acceleration. This has got to be, um, a distance is like a displacement, right? So that must be our, uh, our S, right? So let's write our things out. S, U, V, A, and T, and let's bring in our formulas. Look at that. They just come swooping in there like that. Okay, let's see. Um, what time? Okay, so let's fill this in first. Our initial velocity is 3130 meters per second. Acceleration is uh, 0 0.13, 0 0.00135 meters per second per second. This could be like one of these ion propulsion systems that have extremely small accelerations, right? And then our displacement is 5.5 uh, gigameters. Okay, so let's say 5.50 times 10 to the ninth meters. Okay. It says, what time does it take? Right? And then what's our final velocity? Uh, okay, so to, if we want to figure out the time, we would have to use this formula. And we have S and U and A. Now, do you notice that there's T to the 0, T to the 1, T to the 2? That makes that one quadratic. Okay, so I don't like the quadratic equation, and I don't have Wolfram Alpha booted up here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chicken out. I'm going to say, okay, T, to solving for that one first is kind of hard. Okay, so I'll put a little exclamation point there. Can I solve for V? All I need is one with no T. This one's our friend, right? So let's do that first. I'm going to use V squared. I'm going to solve. So I'm going to do the final velocity first. There's no reason we have to do it in this order. So v squared is u squared plus 2as, right? So 31 uh, squared plus 2 times 0 0.00135 uh, times 5.5 e9. By that, by e, I mean uh, 10 to the 9th, just like your calculator does it, right? And uh, v squared is that, right? So v is going to be the square root of all that. And I'll do that in my calculator. Right, so I'm going second square root left parenthesis 3130 squared plus 2 times 0 0.00135 times 5.5 .5 times 10 to the ninth. Okay, and when you do times 10 to the ninth, you use that second EE or EE button on your calculator, whatever it is. Uh, okay, so let's see what that is. Our final velocity is. Our final velocity is 4964.56 meters per second. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Okay, and then uh, now we want to solve for time. We can use any of our favorite ones. This is my favorite here, right? By the way, because it's the square root of a square, this could be positive or negative that. I'm pretty sure, though, that it's going to be positive because it's accelerating in the direction that it's going, right? Okay, so T, um, I'm going to use V equals U. And I'm doing that because I'm a wimp. I don't want to do the quadratic equation, okay? So 4964.56 is 31.30 plus point zero zero one three five times T, right? So I'm going to subtract. 3130. And I got 1834.56 is point zero zero one three five. Okay, and now I guess I divide, right? So I divide by point zero zero one three five. It'll take a long time, in other words. Well, that's a lot of seconds. That's a lot of seconds. Okay, I'm getting uh, 1.3. I'm in scientific notation mode, so I don't have to count the things. 1.3 five, eight, nine, uh, times 10 to the six is what it's telling me seconds. 
Right, and so uh, what do we have? Three sig figs? Yeah, it looks like we have three sig figs. So we have to round it to there. That's why it says that. So that's this is an ion propulsion system probably, and, and uh, it uses a tiny little bit of fuel to generate a tiny little bit of acceleration, but it can do it for a long time. Yay. Try some of the examples that I'm going to give you here. Uh, this is the main thing for this first unit, so this is very important that we get this right. <laughs> 